Hey guys, it's Tiffany here and welcome back to another video. This one is a bit of a collective one and I'm going to show you some bodysuits from Aritzia as well as some knit sets that I picked up, so let's get into it. First up is the Contour Shoulder Pad Bodysuit and it's one of their newer releases. Crewnecks are probably one of my favorite necklines and most of the bodysuits today will have that detail. This one is in their high stretch fabric which is really smooth. It's double layered, has a thong cut bottom for that seamless look and most importantly a snap closure. Personally, I think I could have gone up a size in this one just so that the shoulder pad part is a little more defined or exaggerated. I prefer that look, but if you guys are looking for something more subtle, then getting your true to size will likely work out for you. So this is what this one looks like. The next one is the Soft Contour 90s bodysuit, and this style is probably one of their most popular bodysuits because of the classic silhouette. And it's just easy to wear whether on its own or layered under a cardigan or blazer. The one I got is the stretch cotton material which is really soft and the cotton just makes it have a slightly more relaxed look which is what I was going for. The style also comes in at least 10 different colors so make sure to check out the description below for the links of each item. The VK bodysuit is probably one of my personal favorites. Again, this has a crew neck, thumb bottom, and snap closure just like the rest. It's made out of a sustainable material and it's so comfortable. This one is really similar to the 90s bodysuit but with slightly thinner straps and less coverage at the back. So if you want something more covered, then go for the 90s style but I personally love when the neckline comes in a little thinner. I think it's just a bit more flattering. The color is called shiitake and this one is more of a cooler saturated grayish brown so not as warm toned as the image online shows so just a heads up on that but nonetheless love this one. Next up is another one of my favorites and it's really similar to the other two that I showed you except this one curves in slightly more towards the neck and it comes up higher around the underarm area for a bit more side coverage. I got this in the clay color and I love it so much. It is a little lighter than the shiitake color and it leans warmer toned. The material is in the smooth high stretch fabric like the shoulder pad bodysuit and I got this in my usual size. When I first put this on though, it did feel a little tight around the neck and around the underarm area but over time this did stretch out a bit so it is a lot more comfortable now which I'm really happy about. Finally, this is the contour bodysuit and I actually have this in a few different colors. This one is also really popular and I find quite flattering with the square neckline. The thick straps also make this incredibly comfortable and in the same high stretch fabric as the previous bodysuit. This also comes in over 20 colors and double line, but the only thing it is missing is the snap closure. Continuing on, I have a set from Aritzia by Sunday Best. I just want to say this top is the tiniest top I've ever gotten and I wasn't sure I was going to show you guys because I just didn't think this would fit, but here it is. This is the matching posy set and I'll start with the good and then we'll get into the not so good parts. I've been loving sets, especially knit sets and yes, even during the summer just because I think they automatically make you look a little more put together without effort. The material is so soft and the fit of the pants are perfect, especially if you're on the shorter side. And I love that it has a bit of flair but not too overdone. Some of the things I didn't love was the fit of the bra top. I may have felt differently if I had gone up a size, which I would highly recommend, especially if you guys have a larger bust. I just didn't find that it provides enough coverage for the girls, and keeping in mind it is meant to be an extra cropped length, but I just didn't feel covered enough up top. Also, the material for both the tops and pants are on the thinner side, as you can see, and not something I would wear outdoors. I think it's a great set if you only plan on wearing this indoors, but if you also want to have the option to wear this out and run a quick errand or two, I'd say maybe consider other options or even just getting another color might solve the issue with it being too sheer or transparent. Continuing on with some sets I ordered, this is a set from Revolve and first time trying out the brand called Year of Ours. I ordered the set primarily for the pants and I love, love, love these pants. Again, perfect for petite girls and the slit detailing in pants are everything this season. These are so soft, so comfortable, the material feels really good and has a slight ribbed texture to it, so I'm definitely keeping this pair. Now the top. I wanted to like it and keep this as a set to wear together, but this just didn't really do anything for me. I wasn't really feeling the neckline and it fit alright, but I think just the style and design was a bit lackluster and I ultimately decided to return this one. 
This is also something I picked up a few months ago and I thought I'd include it in this video because it fit in with the whole crew neck theme and the knit material since I was showing you a bunch of Revolve stuff that I picked up. I got this top because it was minimal so it'd be easy to style but also because it had this interesting back which sets it apart from just any basic tank. I haven't actually had a chance to wear this out yet but hoping to do so this summer. This top does fit a little bigger, but overall it's not too bad of a fit. Sometimes I do have to adjust it a little bit just because it does tend to pull or shift a certain way based on the design, but not a huge deal. The next set is also from Revolve by the brand Bardot, and I love the way it looked on the model, but I can't say I love the way it looked on my frame. So this is an example of what shopping online is like most of the time, and I wouldn't necessarily call this a fail, but it just didn't work out for me. The set itself I can say is really great quality and it has a good weight to it but still feels light. Something about the skirt just makes me want to twirl around in it and I just love the movement it creates especially with the side slit and flared A-line silhouette. Fit wise the waist is perfect so no complaints there as well as the top if it's comfortably around the neck and armhole area. But the reason this didn't work out for me was the proportions. The skirt was a little longer than I expected, I am 5'1", so obviously I knew it wasn't going to hit me at the same place it did for the model but I just didn't really anticipate it being this long. And similar with the top I would have liked it if it was a little more cropped but I do have a shorter torso as well so overall it wasn't the vibe I was going for but worth checking out. And lastly, this is a knit set I got from H&M. I usually gravitate towards things in their premium line, however, when I saw this, I thought it was super cute and I am obsessed. It's in this really pretty taupe color and if you guys have been following me or watching my videos, you probably know I wear a lot of black, white, and neutrals, so this one is no different. Love the knit shorts and crop top, everything just fits really well. It also comes with a matching knit cardigan, which I think is great for chillier days if you wanted to throw it over as a cover-up. So that's it for this video, hope you enjoyed it. I do have a denim video coming up as well as some activewear I wanna show you. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and also follow me on Instagram to see updates on what I might be filming next for this channel. There's also food, drinks, lifestyle content and recommendations on there as well if that's something you're interested in. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time, bye.